How to get more FPS for Minecraft versions 116 to 119. Step 1 is install Fabric, all of the links will be in the description, I'll just download it for Windows. Once it's downloaded, just double click it, choose the Minecraft version that you want, tick this create profile box and click on install. It reminds me that Minecraft is still open, so I have to close that down first. Now that is already done installing, so I can open up the Minecraft launcher again. And here you should now also have this Fabric Loader thing. If you go to the Installations tab and you click on this, you can go to More Options and here you can see that right now there's 2GB of RAM allocated to it. If your laptop or PC has enough, you can actually allocate more to it. So if you press Ctrl, Shift and Escape at the same time, you can open up this Task Manager. Go to Performance and here you can see under the Memory tab how much RAM you have available. Since I have more than enough, I could put it up to 3GB now. Don't go over 3GB, it's really not worth it. But for the sake of this video, and I usually play with 2 anyways, I'll keep it at 2. But if you want to run like really heavy shaders, you really need to put it up to 3. Next up, you need to download 4 mods. The Fabric API, which is needed for almost any Fabric mod. Then the Iris shaders, if you want to install shaders, that is, you don't really need it. Sodium, you need that for other optimization. Lithium, you also need that and then Phosphor as well. If you want to know what they each do, you can just go onto the Cursephor sites and just read it through, but I won't explain that in this tutorial. Alright, once you downloaded all of them, press Windows and R and type in percentage app data percentage. Then go to the .minecraft folder and go through the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder yet, just right click, create a new folder and call it mods, but don't capitalize it. Go in there and then just drag and drop all of the mods that you downloaded into that new folder. Now you should have those five mods in this folder. Close that back down, open Minecraft, you can also close your browser now. Now just start up your Minecraft. Alright, then go into the options and we'll do some extra stuff. So go to the video settings, now you'll see that it looks a lot different than if you have Optifine. So you can turn down the render distance if you want to, for me 8 works pretty well. The simulation distance, you can also turn that down, and the shadow distance as well. Make sure to turn off V-Sync, this allows you to go over 60 FPS. And also turn the max frame rate to uh, the maximum, which is unlimited. The rest that doesn't really matter, so go to quality. You can turn the graphics to fast. You can turn smooth lighting off. Particles decreased or minimal. Leaves quality also to fast. Weather also to fast. Clouds off. You can turn down the biome blend. You can also turn down the entity distance and the mipmap levels, but I'm not going to do those too. In the performance tab, just keep it at default, which is this. In advanced, just keep it like this as well. If you installed the Iris mod, you can now also go to the shaders pack, and loading shaders with Iris is incredibly fast. But that's not what you're here for, so go to apply and click on done. Alright, I just loaded into a single player world. If I press F3, you'll see that I have around 200 FPS, which is quite good for me. It's obviously not insane, but I think honestly anything over 60 FPS is perfectly fine. I'll just load in the complementary shaders just to show you how fast it goes. So I just clicked on it and there we go, it's already done. If this was helpful to you, please leave a like and also comment down below from which FPS to which FPS you went after this optimization guide. I can also share some Windows optimization things, so if you're interested in that, just comment down below Windows optimization guide win or something like that. I think that's about it. If you want to join my 1.19 SMP, join our Discord server in the description. But as always, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.